Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Here with today's early MLB main slate for taking on DraftKings. I can't play the late slate tonight because I have a college final right around 6, right when the slate starts, so that's just not going to work out very well. So I'm going to go over the early slate today, and I'll be able to answer any questions you have for that. Anyway, before we continue, if you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. You can also follow me on Twitter at cpen underscore 16. Anyway, let's get into the slate. So SP1 today for me is going to be Carlos Carrasco, 2200. I assume he's going to be the chalk. So everything just lines up here for him to be the number one. He's got the highest K rate on the slate, the best Sierra, highest swing and miss rate, and he's a heavy favorite at home versus the White Sox. So it all makes sense to me. The Indians are implied to score some runs today. I'm not sure. I don't really agree with them being over like five point. I think it's five point four one. I don't. I'm, I'm not. Really, I don't really agree with that because it's a left-handed heavy lineup versus a lefty. But so we'll see. But I do love Carlos Carlos Carrasco today a lot. And then uh, Chris Bassett. It gets kind of. It gets kind of gross at SP2, but I don't mind going with Chris Bassett at 8,800. I mean, he's way overpriced, but it's nothing too exciting, but he doesn't allow a lot of power, and it's a good pitcher's park, and I think he can get you some decent points. Um, but then uh, we have Kyle Freeland at 6,700. So we've targeted lefties versus the Giants all year. I know it's Coors Field, but he's cheap enough to take a shot on here, plus it's cold. So I think you can get away here with a few runs and a few, some strikeouts, and I don't think it's going to hurt you. I really don't think SP2 is going to matter too much today. And this one just happens to go off. And then a catcher. I know I said I like Freeland a little bit, but I do have you know Giants listed because I get it. It's course. And then uh, so Buster Posey, 4400. So it's just course field versus lefty, where he gets a 24% power boost in his ISO. As you can you can see that on the model if you uh, want a copy of this. So I mean wherever he is. So anyway, give that. And then. Jorge Alfaro, 3,200. He's cheap and projected to back cleanup for Starvish. He will either have it or he won't. You know, he's a wild pitcher. Sometimes he's on, sometimes he's off. But the the main reason is the wind is blowing out here about 13 miles per hour straight out. So it's going to be a big boost to bats. And um, Roberto Perez, 3,100. And so the Indians have a decent matchup for Spinuelos today and a high run total. Uh, so I just don't mind throwing uh, throwing Perez in your lineup versus the lefty, you know. I mean, he's not a good uh, hitter or anything, but he can hit lefties decently. I mean, it's not, it's not very good, but he's going to hit really low in the order. So I really like getting up to Alfaro. And at first base, you have Anthony Rizzo, 5,400. He's priced up, but uh, Kevin Roth is saying the weather conditions in Wrigley have a 59% home run boost and a 41% boost in total runs. And... You know that's pretty massive. So he's like, um, the weather there is screaming that runs are going to be scored, home runs are going to be hit. So I definitely like a lot of these Cubs as you're going to see, and he gets the lefty on righty matchup versus Trevor Richards. Then Nico Goodrum, 3500, is a small sample size, but Bard is allowing a 327 ISO versus lefties this year. So I don't mind going with Goodrum. Then Neil Walker, 3300. So the Marlins are really cheap stack, are a really cheap stack to spend up on, uh, to be able to spend up on other bats and pitchers if you plug them in. And the wind and the wild pitcher on the mound makes it worth a shot today. And I, you know, I think it's a really good spot. I mean, especially if your Darvish can't go deep in the game, which he usually doesn't, that uh, Cubs bullpen is not very good at all. So I think the Marlins are in a really nice spot today. And then uh, second base, Jerk, some pro far, 3400. I really like him today. He's moved up higher in the order recently, and he's projected about second. And I think I'm pretty sure he homered it last night. Pretty sure. And I like the matchup versus the righty Roark, who struggles versus lefties. And then Starling Castro, 2900. He's below 3K and should bat around fifth. And you know the wind just makes all these guys viable. And then David Bodie, 4100. Just another guy in Wrigley. And plus Richards, Richards has actually been worse versus righties, allowing a 200 ISO. So don't mind David Bodie. And then uh, third base, Nolan Arenado, 5800. I know some sites have Rodriguez as the starting pitcher for San Francisco, but I check on Twitter and everyone's saying it's Holland, so I, um, I'm you know, pretty sure it's Holland, so that would make Arenado the number one play. Like I said yesterday versus a fly ball lefty, he's got 318 ISO versus lefties. He crushes them. Then Chris Bryant, 5,500. Have I, so it's really just the wind blowing out in Wrigley, and you know Richards has been pretty bad versus righties. And then Brian Anderson, 2,900. Um, like I just said, Andy's going to bat around third, and these they're just so cheap. I don't. I mean, they're priced like they're facing like Trevor Bauer, Justin Verlander, and they're playing you Darvish. So and then at shortstop, uh, Trevor Story, just like Arenado. I really like Trevor Story today. And then Javi Baez, he'd be a nice pivot off of Story if you're going to full stack the Cubs. And then Addison Russell, he's just a cheap guy in Wrigley, 2900. So have him listed there. Sorry, I feel like I'm repeating myself with the guys in Wrigley, but it's just. Just how the slate's working out. 
Chris Bryant, we already went over. Kevin Pillar, 4,500. If he's leading off, I like him. And he's going to be versus the lefty Freeland, so he gets the platoon advantage there. And then Jason Hayward, 4,500, leading off in Wrigley versus the righty. And I believe he homered yesterday, too. So that's nice. Then Nico Goodrum, we already went over. Kyle Schwarber, he's a lefty in Wrigley versus the righty. Uh, Mac Williamson, 4,300. Yeah, he's had a great start to the year. Uh, his first game, he went off. And I don't see why he can't continue here versus Freeland with a p- platoon advantage. So it sounds like I'm kind of picking on Freeland here, so it's just how the slate works out. SP2, I really just fill in whoever fits, really. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I mean, unless it's a scrub. But uh, then in the value, I feel we have Brian Anderson. We already talked about Curtis Granderson, really cheap and leaning off in Wrigley versus Wrighty. And then Harold Castro, 2500 He's very cheap. He's very cheap lefty versus Bard. He struggles versus lefties. And then... Some of the quarter plays I have right now are going to be Carrasco, Alfaro, Profar, and Story. Uh, I didn't see any really too bad weather. I think it's supposed to lightly rain later on in the game in Cleveland, but I think that's going to be fine for Carrasco. And the top stacks are going to be the Cubs, the Rockies, the Giants, and the Marlins as a cheap stack. All right, guys, anyway, that's all I have for the video. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at cpen underscore 16. NASCAR should be out tomorrow night. I think that's when practice and I got to see when practice and that stuff is. So I will get that out as soon as I can. The USC video will be out tomorrow as well. And I wish you guys all the best of luck.